Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and today I've got a very special video for you all. So in today's video guys, I'll be talking about my Elliott Wave count. So lots of people use Elliott Wave Theory in their trading strategy. So I definitely look at Elliott Wave Theory. I wouldn't say I'm just a pure Elliott Wave th Theory trader, but it is something that I definitely use for for finding my market structure and I definitely use the ABC pattern a lot when I'm trading so guys uh, I'll so this is my count guys if you want to have a quick look at it this is the count that I'm looking at now but I'm going to remove all of it so oops I don't know why I pressed that I'm going to re remove all of it and start it from scratch because I said in my previous video that I was going to do kind of more of a tutorial session of trading and um, so I did one here last week I started it two weeks ago so I thought I'd do Elliott Wave because a lot of people have asked me about Elliott Wave trading so if, for the long term Elliott Wave uh, theory again I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'd like to keep it short this is probably some sort of like a impulsive five waves up and it's extended fifth wave as you can see then we've had that correction and there's few different al alternative counts for this and um, this could be like a WXYZ potentially so this is like that maybe ABC and then you've got an ABC up then You've got an X here, then you've got maybe a triangle, and it's broken down. This could be an ABC. Uh, some people are saying that this is the fourth wave up, and we've got another leg down. Again, that is the kind of not issue with Elliott Wave. You know, uh, there could be different counts, and you don't know which count to play of. I like to look at price action, and you know, use my moving average, my indicators. Uh, price action volume to understand where the market is and I, I you guys know I played a big position so that could be the longer wave count and this count this could be sort of an ABC maybe a big ABC move uh, to sort of the you know 6,000 this could be a this could be a corrective pattern this could be a longer ABC you know it could be a few different patterns but let's see how it plays out I, I'm I'm gonna give you a count of what I am seeing so I think this 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 is more of a this is definitely a impulsive move up because if it is if it was just like a corrective ABC then we should not have gone past you know the ideal ABC is usually you know one to one extension and it has gone above it so I don't think it's an ABC this is more likely to be the count that I'm going to share with you today so the count I think is this is like the first wave up second wave down uh, you can check my video previously I talked about the Gartley pattern there's so much to trading guys you do not need Elliott Wave Theory, Beard, Gartley Pattern, Fibonacci, these are all things that you can use to kind of help your trading. I'm a, I'm a trading geek, I love trading, I've been doing it for years, so I've learned about all of these theory, but you don't need to do it. Again, I took a lot, I, I did some scalping yesterday, and that was based off, you know, a little bit of indicators, but, you know, volume, price action, you do not need all this, so I don't really want to confuse you or so that's probably the first move up we're having this impulsive third wave I think the third wave is not finished I think it would more likely to be some I've messed that up let me start again so I think this is the first impulsive move up this is the second wave and I think the third wave is not done uh, I think it could be somewhere around here then we're gonna see a pullback to maybe this sort of level and then we'll have a, th a fifth wave up again i can use more fibonacci to find my price targets and uh, you know look at support and resistance but you know this is kind of where we're looking at you know this could be the first impulsive wave up and could be a second wave and a third wave and a start of a new bull run or this could be sort of like a corrective you know longer a longer term corrective sideways corrective or, and that breaks down to lower lows you know we're not sure what 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 we're gonna get but you have to just look at it the price action the market sentiment and trade according to it so uh, this move I still think is going on I don't think it's finished and what I'm seeing here is this looks like so if you know Elliott wave theory guys the third wave the, there's usually is fractal guys so there's a wave in between that wave so if we look at this wave guys um, I think this is a first wave up you can see one two three four five and the third wave is not the smallest which is one of the rules of Elliott wave your fifth wave is definitely smaller than the third wave because it can't be the smallest this could be like a flat corrective guys as you can see then you have the third third wave up 
you're expecting potentially a fourth wave down and then you'll have the finishing of the third wave again i don't i'll just put some something else it doesn't really matter which ones i've got on you know some people you know lose their hair like, oh this is not the correct one this is not the correct one this is this this is a different degree i just like to look at elliott wave from a more of like a, a practical point of view so this is what we're looking at guys again i've i've got some this is a different chart that i'm using i know i've got some targets for where i'm looking to buy so that is again the fourth wave cannot go below the first wave so if it goes below here guys after the third wave it goes below here then you know elliott wave theory fourth wave it can spike down but it cannot you know we cannot get price acceptance here then it's a it, then this count is wrong so this is one of the counts that i'm looking at and i think this is the most likely count uh, this could be potentially a small three four five there but this is that's not what i'm seeing i've went into the smaller time frames to kind of understand that you know some people are saying this could be a three four five but that is not how i'm looking at it this is what my kind of trading is so how you can trade it this could be if this is the fifth uh, third wave here this could be like an ABC triangle that we're seeing or it could give you an ABC this could be an A this could be a B and a C and i would look to trade then if i get good price um if i get good price information here guys then i definitely look to have another trade another if you look at an you know, elliott wave is quite fractal this could be another one two three four five for the third wave so so that is how i'm looking to play this guys and uh, if, if there's a good price if i if i see some good pullback to where i'm targeting guys so the the main zone i'm targeting is around four forty six thousand uh, four thousand six hundred to four thousand five hundred is the zone i'm looking to buy if i get you know a good indicator good entry trigger trigger that's where i look to buy i mean some a simple thing is if you if you're not an experienced trader you don't know about elliott wave you know watch this daily 200 moving average if it goes below it it's probably not very good and it, it can't i mean if it goes below 40 40 4200 and there's price acceptance then you know this count is not valid but this is what i'm seeing guys let me know what your thoughts are if you like more elliott wave theory videos i've read dozens of elliott wave books i've uh, done research i've even gone on to an elliott wave training course i've done a lot of work on elliott wave and i do definitely use it in forex uh, in in stocks this works quite well i've used it in different markets I do use it in crypto guys but not so much as much as I do it in other markets if we see a massive bull market then I'll use it again but more I like to see it for market structure but I use different techniques so I'm not an Elliott wave trader I hope you guys enjoyed that video what are your thoughts guys do you think this is like the big start of the big move up do you think it's it's not going to be the move that we're looking for is going to break down let me know what your thoughts are guys and i'll definitely make another video so i'll be making some really interesting videos my top five coins and my best investment coins so if you want to be in touch with those video guys make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button if you and also i'm doing another litecoin giveaway guys i've done xrp giveaway previously guys um now when i reach my 4000 or 5000 subscribers i'll be doing a litecoin giveaway so if you want to be in with the chance of winning that subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and i'll uh, be doing a giveaway also guys if you want to learn more about technical analysis price action trading uh, email me below at crypto at hotmail.com i'm still doing the 15 minute free skype calls i'm doing 10 a week because i was doing loads and i was i wasn't i didn't have time to trade so if you want to be if you want that free skype call guys email me below and let me know what you want to make for more videos if you want me to make more videos like this much more trading uh, videos how to trade let me know if you want more price action or any coins that you want me to feature let me know guys and i'll sure cover it also guys you can join our facebook group uh, facebook group we've got a very interesting facebook group guys very popular and um, so definitely join that guys we try to share as much as possible on here guys and we've got a really good community there some knowledgeable people see so if i'm not there i'm sure some other people can help you out so thank you very much let me know what you think thoughts are on this elliott wave count and go go bitcoin bitcoin to the moon